just looking at this, guys, when you have f of g of 4, what this means is basically finding f of 4 times g of 4. So when you see f times g of 4, that basically just means evaluate f times g of 4. Or you can basically means, you know, multiply, um, multiply the two functions and then evaluate for 4. So you could do the mathematical operations like we did. Like you could multiply these to get x minus 5 and over x minus 3. And then you could plug in 4. Or you could just plug in 4 from the beginning. So if you plugged in 4 for f of 4, you would get, uh-oh, 4 minus 5. That didn't work. And then you have g, g of 4, which is 1 over 4 minus 3. So therefore, you would see that in this case, we'd have 1 over 1, which is 1. So f of g of 4 is equal to the square root of negative 1, which in the, remember in the complex number system is i. You don't need to worry about that. I pick bad numbers. You're never going to have i, OK? So don't worry about the i. But algebraically, that's technically where, what you would do.